Well, hello everyone. I hope you can hear me out there in Facebook land. And if you're listening, could you please someone send me a little comment that lets me know you can hear me. My sound is good. So this is the second week we're talking about homeopathy for the holidays. I'm going to be doing a series of remedies that you can use during the holidays for a variety of problems that are unique to the holiday situation. Last week we talked about the remedies for hangover and if you want to look at that video you can just go on my Facebook page and look for the video for last week. The remedy is called Nux Vomica. But today we're going to talk about the remedy for food poisoning. Can you imagine, is there anything worse than you have people come over for Thanksgiving dinner and for whatever reason you serve them something and they get sick? That would be horrible. Well, fortunately, there's a homeopathic remedy for that. And this remedy is called Arsenicum Album. Just like the name implies, it's, yes, it's made from arsenic. Now, this is not real arsenic like the metal that you would give in, uh, if you were trying to poison someone. These are homeopathic pellets and they're made in a special way in a homeopathic pharmacy. The way they make them is they take arsenicum or they take arsenic which is actually a metal. It's a powder, they make it out of an ars uh, arsenic oxide and they take this powder and they put one drop of that powder into a draw into a bottle of either water or alcohol depending on what method they're using and that's called a mother tincture so they take one drop of that mother tincture and they put it in 100 drops actually 99 drops of water and they pound it a hundred times Hahnemann the founder of homeopathy used to pound it on the big family Bible and that pounding is called succussion Oh, hello, thank you so much for your comment. I'm glad to hear you can hear me. Anyway, Hahnemann took the first, when he made his remedies, he would take the mother tincture, make the first dilution in 99 drops of water. One drop of the mother tincture goes in 99 drops of water, and he would pound that on the family Bible like 100 times. That's a 1C dilution. Then you take that one drop of that 1C dilution, put that in 99 drops of water, and pound that again a hundred times, that's a 2C dilution. And you continue to do these serial dilutions two times, six times, 12 times, 30 times, 200 times, a thousand times, and so on. And the arsenicum album that you wanna get, which is available in most health food stores that carry homeopathic remedies, in little blue tubes, is called arsenicum album, and it's the 30C potency. So that means it has been diluted in 100 drops or 99 drops of water 30 times. So a 30 is made from a 29, which is made from a 28, and so on. And when you get to the 12C dilution, meaning it's been diluted out in 99 drops of water or 100 drops of water 12 times, that's what the C stands for, by the way. C comes from the Roman numeral C, which means 100, as opposed to X, which, is for, um, which is, means that it's been diluted in 10 drops of water. But the C potency is more potent because the more times it's diluted, the stronger it gets. I know that seems counterintuitive, but that's how it works in homeopathy because as you're diluting out the physical component of, this is say arsenic, as you dilute out the physical component with the dilution, serial dilutions and the shaking and the pounding and the succussion, you're actually making the remedy stronger because you're strengthening the energetic component. And that's how homeopathic remedies work. They work on what Samuel Hahnemann called the spiritual vital force or the spiritual dynamis. So how do we know that arsenicum works for food poisoning? Well, what do you suppose happens if you give someone a little bit of arsenic? They get nausea, they get really bad stomach cramps, they vomit and they have diarrhea. Oftentimes they'll have chills and they have this feeling like, oh my God, I'm so sick, I feel like I could die. So they get a little anxious about being so sick. Those are all the symptoms that you get of arsenic poisoning. So in conversely, when you see someone who has food poisoning, what are their symptoms? Nausea, vomiting, stomach cramps, chills, and diarrhea. So when you see someone who has had food poisoning, 
then you match their symptoms to the symptoms that showed up in the proving of our arsenic or our Senecum album and healthy people. So that's how they know what remedy to use. They proved this by giving it in small amounts. In fact, Hahnemann was one of the people who did the proving of arsenic more than 200 years ago. He gave a small amount to himself and to his colleagues and meticulously wrote down every single symptom they had. And those, almost every person who took it had those same symptoms, vomiting, stomach cramps, chills, diarrhea, anxiety about their health. Oh, and the other thing about arsenicum that's interesting is they're thirsty, but only for teeny tiny sips. So if you're trying to do, there are other remedies for home, for uh, food poisoning. Veratrum is another one, but Veratrum doesn't have the thirst for tiny sips like arsenicum does. And I know very well that this remedy works because I have had food poisoning myself in various travels over the last 25 years. I've had it four times. And I think in my uh, latest book, I talked about when I had food poisoning on a ski, go on my way to a ski trip in Utah. And I had a sandwich in the Denver airport. And because I haven't had any pharmaceutical drugs for more than 25 years and have done only homeopathy for that long, my vital force is exqu exquisitely sensitive. So I had the sandwich and within 20 minutes of finishing the sandwich, I started to feel lightheaded. I got on the plane, and sure enough, by the time we were in Utah, well, the air pet sickness bag was like my best friend. But fortunately, I never travel without this remedy. I had it in my homeopathic kit I carry, and I started taking the remedy. And so what you do is you basically unscrew the top, and you'll put one pellet here, and it doesn't really matter how many pellets you take. You can take one, you can take five, you can take 10. Some people think you should take more pellets, some people think you should take less, but that doesn't really matter. As many as you can get in your system is fine. And you put it under the tongue and you want to take it about every 15 minutes, which is what I did sitting on the airplane. Between throwing up, I basically kept taking the remedy every 15 minutes. And it doesn't matter if you throw up, even if you've taken the pellet, because as soon as the pellet hits your, your palate or your mouth, it's impacting your vital force. It impacts you energetically. And so what happens when you have food poisoning and you take a remedy, it stimulates your body to do what? If you've taken something that is poisoning your system, what's the natural response for your body? To get rid of it, right? So that's what the remedy does. It accelerates the purging, if you would, of your system. So temporarily your symptoms may get worse. You may vomit more often, more bouts of diarrhea, a little more stomach cramps, but eventually the nausea goes away and the longer you take this, if you keep taking it every 15 to 30 minutes, eventually your symptoms will subside. And then what you want to do is back off and take it maybe every one to two hours, then every three to four hours, and that's what I did on my, way to, on my trip to Utah. My friend was driving us to the hotel and by the time I got to the resort, we, of course we had to stop on the side of, road, of the road three times, it was not pleasant. But by the time we got to the hotel, I took a little sip of, of 7-Up, just a little sip, didn't want much, very thirsty, but could only tolerate a sip because if I drank more than that, I'd feel nauseous again. So that's how you know it's arsenicum. You're thirsty, but if you drink too much, then it comes right back up. So just a little bit of a sip. So I drank some 7-Up, kept taking the remedy, and you try not to take the remedy uh, 20 minutes after you've had something to drink. But if you're this sick and you're throwing up, you know, do the best you can, but getting the remedy in as frequently as you need it. And the rule of thumb is the more serious and severe your symptoms, then the more often you want to take it. So that's what I did. I took it, um, I laid down and took a little nap and kept taking the remedy about every two to three hours. And when I woke up the next morning, I was completely well. No visit to the ER, no IV antibiotics, no IV fluids and no PO antibiotics, no antibiotics by mouth. I ate a big breakfast the next morning and skied for three days with no problem. And that is the power of homeopathic arsenicum album for food poisoning. So I hope that none of you need this over the Thanksgiving, Hanukkah, Christmas holidays, Kwanzaa, whatever, you, uh, whatever is your joyful uh, holiday practice. I hope none of you need this, but if you do, you can get it in the health food store. It'll cost you less than 10 bucks. 
So you might want to get a few vials in case the whole family gets sick. That would be horrible. In a pinch, if you run out, you can put a pellet in water and you can give people the sip of water. And you can do that for babies as well. So there's more information about that in my book called What's the Remedy for That? You can tell with these videos, I'm still trying to figure out where to put the book. So here, right in front of my face. <laughs> What's the Remedy for That? The Definitive Homeopathy Guide for everyday, for mastering everyday self-care without drugs. So that's the book. And you can get it on Amazon. I've left you the link here at Amazon. If you want to click on the link to Amazon, you can order a copy of the book. You can also get my first book called Vitality, How to Get It and Keep It. And that book talks about my story of how I went from being a surgeon, an OBGYN surgeon, and to becoming a, a both, first both a homeopath and a surgeon. And then I finally gave up doing surgery just to do homeopathy. That's what I do now. So I tell that story in my first book, Vitality, What's the Remedy? For, or pardon me, Vitality, How to Get It and Keep It. So that's, um, and if you'd like to get our Senecum album, you can get it in the health food store. If you happen to live uh, in a town that has a health food store that carries homeopathic remedies. If you don't, you can get it on Amazon, and I've left you the link there also. And you can click on it, and they'll send it to you. These remedies are really cheap. There's about 85 doses in this bottle, in this, in this tube. Costs you less than 10 bucks. So for less than 10 bucks, you can treat the whole family. God forbid they get food poisoning. I hope you don't. Remember, um, don't undercook your turkey. Be sure to use a, um, a temperature thermometer, a thermometer. So you make sure that you've got the right temperature for poultry, which is usually about 165 degrees. So that's the remedies for food poisoning. Next week, we'll be talking about another homeopathic remedy that will help you get through the holidays. So thanks so much for that. If you have questions, you can uh, send me an email at drkathy at drkathyfry.com. That link's on my website at drkathyfry.com. And if you're interested in knowing more about my, uh, what I, my practice and how I help people with homeopathy, that's all on my website as well. There's a nice video of me being interviewed by Jack Canfield, the uh, author of The Chicken Soup for the Soul um, book. So he and I did a really nice interview this uh, earlier this year about how homeopathy works. That was really fun. So if you'd like to know some more about it, you can watch it on my website. I think that's it for now. So enjoy your uh, holiday season and I'll be adding another video next week. Thanks so much. Bye for now.